So the device says 7.5, use a smaller size, 7.0 ET2. Bag up. When you think it's safe, disconnect the top part. Disconnect the cap, the red cap. Have the tube that you want. So it's at 7.5, max on the device, 7.0 would probably be ideal. Are you ready to uh, scope and intubate? Orientation up down. Uh, so this is showing me the tag to look up. And so when we're here, the glottic opening is being visualized. Getting closer. Try to thread it through. Thank you. Thread it through. You got it. As far as you can to yeah, the I'm, te I'm teaching it, so I'll be in that moment. Oh, all right. The two a little bit. Once I see, as far as I can, that guy's see trachea rings. Advance your ET tube over. And basically, your scope is acting like an expensive Fuji. What I see now is definitely tracheal rings, carina, left and right. The device is in. For those non believers, the device is in. Inflate the cuff, connect your entire CO2, and bag up the patient. All the above is good enough to convince everyone else the tube is in. Then, you have to remind me yourself again, if you can exchange that for a tube that you want, decompress the air from your ET tube, and use the shin maneuver. Right main stem of the coup tip down. Tending carina. Alright. Decompress your intubating on me. You take everything out. Advance your bougie. Grab onto your ET uh, tube, uh, your bougie constantly. Make sure it doesn't fall out. Have the tube that you desire, 7.5, 8 -0. Advance it over it. Your jaw pull. It should advance to the desired uh, lip line, 22. Inflate. Bag up. And that's how you use the LMA to intubate patients. Yesterday.